Hi all, I'm Age from Liquid Earth, a channel all about video and photography. As part of my DJI Mini 2 series, we're going to look at the five quick shots available in the DJI Fly app. They're pre-programmed flight paths that allow you to get nice cinematic footage at the touch of a button by tracking a subject or a person. We'll start off with a drone. -y. That's for a subject or a person. Wherever your drone is, that's going to be the starting point and the flight is going to move backwards and upwards. So let's start with a very basic one. To get into the quick shot modes, then you select this little icon here, choose quick shots. At the bottom, you can check your resolution. So I'm in 4K here, that's fine. But you can change that according to what resolution you want, if you just want HD, for instance. You can set the distance away on the drone. So let's just do a 40 meter, so it's going to fly back and up 40 meters. If it recognises the subject, you'll see this little plus symbol. If not, just use your finger to drag around your subject. As soon as I press the record here or the start on the screen, it's going to start its movement and recording. Once it's finished, it will stop recording and come back to the start point. Let's give it a go. So it's finished its recording and now it's coming back to the start position. There's an alternative, you can choose a subject and then you can be in the video by moving around that subject. Say you're in a park and there's a monument, you can select the monument and you can be walking around it for instance. Let's give it a go by choosing this little boy here. If you go into the map, you can see the flight path for each of the modes. So these are the drones that I took here. Next one we're going to try is the rocket. So this starts where you are and it shoots straight up. But there's two options here. So let's do the first one where we're just going to shoot virtually straight up. So go back into our modes and choose the rocket. And you can set the height again so that's how high it's going to fly before it returns to home and stops recording. I'm going to get a little closer so we can shoot straight up. Press start, again it's going to start recording, do its movement and then return to its starting point. Let's try an alternative then. I'm going to start a little further away and this time it's going to fly up and slightly towards the subject. I'm going to choose 45 meters for this one. Same again, if you want to choose an object instead, then you can be in it by walking around and it's going to track the object. Next we have three orbit modes. We've got circle, helix and boomerang, and they all revolve around a subject or a person. For these, if we choose the first one, let's do a basic circle, you can choose your direction, so clockwise or anti-clockwise, by clicking on the arrows. Let's do a clockwise, and it's going to start where it is, so if it's really close to you, it's going to be a small circle and it's going to take no time at all. If you start further away, then it will keep exactly that distance from its subject when it orbits around. A nice bonus here we've got a lot of geese in the shot just having a walk towards the lake oh. 
with a DJI Mini 2 doesn't have obstacle avoidance, but I think the geese do, so we'll be all right. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go higher, I'm gonna go further out, making sure I'm higher than the trees, and we're gonna do a much larger circle now. So I'm using the tilt on the camera to point at myself here. I'm going to do a really wide one so it will take longer and you can't control the speed of the drone it's all programmed automatically but of course you can speed that up in post if you want to. If you open the map whilst you're recording you can see the flight path that it's taking. You can pinch in as well. Sometimes it's going to lose the subject, especially if it's really small and it's too far away like this time. So let's try that again. This time I'm going to choose the larger trees. It's not perfect, sometimes it is going to lose its tracking point, in which case I either try a different tracking point or just try again from maybe a different height or distance. If you press the map, you can actually see the flight path that it's taken here. A perfect circle, something you just couldn't do. Even experienced flyers would find it really tough to try and get a perfect circle like this. Nice cinematic footage. Next one is the helix. So this time it's going to go around the subject and move out and up according to the distance that you've set. Let's get ourselves into position first. Okay, let's go into our quick shot modes again. Choose the helix. Let's try 45 meters. Again, just be aware of your surroundings and get ready with a pause button just in case it's about to encounter a tree or a building. And we can do the same thing with the helix mode. We can check the map. You can see the route that it's taken here. So it's going around, further out and higher up. You can see the distance there. Now I'm gonna try a really wide helix. So we'll do the same again, go into the helix mode. And maybe let's try 80 meters this time. So I'm starting with a height of 24 meters. I'm going out 80 meters. I'll choose this tree again so that I can be in the frame. Press start, it's gonna record and then stop when it returns to its starting position. And if you look on the screen, you can see the height and the distance changing as it's circling, getting further out and getting higher up. Now I've noticed, depending on your starting point, it may actually go higher than the parameters that you've set. And sometimes if it tries to go too high, it will get to its limit and it'll fall. And there you can see the path that it's taken and now it's just returning to its start point. Finally, we have the boomerang and I really like this one. So with the boomerang, it just takes the shape of a boomerang as if you'd thrown it. So it's gonna go out and up and then on its return path, it's gonna come down. So it's a nice oval shape. It's gonna start where it is, similar to the circle mode, so you don't select the height or the distance, and it will just do a smaller one if you're close or a larger one if you're further away. Let's try it first of all, fairly close. I'm probably only about 15 feet or so away. slows down really nicely towards the end for a nice smooth cinematic effect. So that's a short one. Let's try a longer one now. I'm going to go quite far away and do a really big boomerang. So I'm 
trying this one quite far away. Let's select myself, see if that works. I'll give this one a go. If you walk around too much whilst it's doing the quick shot and you've selected yourself, then it might struggle to keep you in frame. In which case, choose an object nearby and just do the same thing again. You can move around freely then. And if we look at the map, you can see the oval boomerang path that it's taken. Let's just show you a couple more variations before we finish. So there you have the five quick shot modes for the DJI Mini 2. Go and give it a try yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.